With summer quickly approaching, breweries should be gearing up for their biggest season. However, due to operating restrictions put in place by Governor Roy Cooper, many of these breweries are struggling financially. But while the tables are empty and sales are low, these brewers say they won't let this pandemic put them out of business permanently. How many? Three? Evan Gallagher, along with his father Jeff, opened Dry Falls Brewing almost a year and a half ago in downtown Hendersonville. Now, due to the statewide regulations on breweries and restaurants, Gallagher has had to close his doors to public access and turn his efforts to carry out orders. But he says even with the change, the numbers are nowhere near where they were before COVID-19. Some days are, are hit and miss. Um, we are open seven days a week uh, doing carry out and to go. Um, some days I'll see five people, some days I'll see 60 people. My best day, I've probably hit maybe a quarter of what I did on my best day when during normal, normal sales. While the sales have been inconsistent, Gallagher continues to stay in touch with his customers. He's sharing jokes and positive words every time they come by to make an order. He says these acts of kindness go a long way in tough times for everyone. You want to come in where somebody's, you know, bursting, they're energetic, they're, you know, they're, hey, how's it going? Oh, thank you so much. You know, hey, we appreciate your support. You know, it's, it, it's about smiling, you know, staying positive, being sincere, you know, and that's, that's the things that are going to keep people coming back to you. Across town here at Sanctuary Brewing, owner Joe Dinan is experiencing many of the same issues with to-go sales. While he's taking every precaution necessary to ensure safety between his workers and the customers, he says these changes have taken away from the familiarity he has with his community. It keeps interaction, unfortunately, uh, minimal, you know, because we, we, it is a very personal thing in here and uh, it is almost like a family. We know, you know, the regulars and the locals on first name, we know their family, we know, we know everybody, but it, it's now kind of a, you know, hands-off approach. While Dining can't wait to have his doors open again when the state moves into phase two, he says there's some skepticism that comes along with the move. I'm excited. I'm nervous. You know, I'm definitely nervous about uh, the spread. And I know it's going to be with a massive capacity cap, you know, as badly as I want everybody to come back, as badly as I want to put on a great live music show and have the place be packed out and a line around the corner. Um, you know, we have to be safe and we have to be smart about it and we can't we can't make the same mistakes. Dinan says breweries across the state are struggling right now, but the support from the community has gone a long way. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, it means the world to us. And if you all want us to be here when this thing blows over, when they find a cure in the next year or two years, then uh, come out and support it. It's still unclear when these breweries will be able to open their doors once again to the public. But in the meantime, these brewers remind their communities to do three things, stay safe, Persevere and support your local breweries. In Hendersonville, I'm Josh Connor.